Hi Felters and welcome. Today I just wanted to show you a little bit of the difference between uh, different types of wool because people are always asking uh, what does this wool look like, what does this wool look like and you, if you can't, if you haven't got the ability to order loads of samples which you can do off uh, some of the sites, I think definitely World of Wool uh, allow you to order samples, um, it's really difficult to see. So this breed discovery pack is from World of Wool, I think it's out of stock at the moment but I'm sure it'll be back in but it's a really interesting one and I ordered it and it's great, it arrives in this bag um, unfortunately, when it's in this bag, uh, I moved it and put it up top and it all sort of fell out of um, order. So I had to guess, and it was a really good test actually, what was what. And I worked it all out and looked at several of their uh, walls, these walls online, and they look exactly the same. So I think I've, I've uh, sussed it. So first off, just to go through, the top ones here, these are what they say they are. They are, that's a merino and that's a merino. The difference is the microns. Now microns are the size or the diameter of the hair. And one micron is a thousandth of a millimeter. So it's absolutely tiny. But the lower the micron, the softer the wool is. And this is the softest. And it's really obvious when I feel the difference between the two, these are both merinos, but this one is softer. This is a micron of 18.5, which is really, really low. And this one is a micron of 23. So these are merinos um, and they're well known for being extremely soft merino wool. And then we move further on up. The next one is the blue faced Leicester. That's 26 microns. Um, and they do a couple of colours of that. This is the, I think, oatmeal coloured. It doesn't look oatmeal, but it, I think it's the oatmeal one. Um, this is the Shetland, which is 29 to 31 microns. So it's starting to get a little bit rougher. Um, but this is quite nice to work with. It felt really, really well. I work with a lot of Shetlands. Then we've got Jacob, which is 33 to 35 in fibre length. And then this is uh, Devon. I think it's a Devon and Cornwall, I'm not sure, but it says a Devon. It's 33 to 35, and there's a big difference. And I don't know, you can probably even see the difference if I pull this one out. See how, let's just get a bit closer. You can see the difference there. This is soft and billowy, and that is really starting to get quite coarse. So if you were to be working with that, that would be quite hard to um, felt. And then, well, it'd be great as a coat, because I do a lot of them as coats. This is a swell, Swelldale, I think is how you say it. 35 to 45 microns, again, really quite thick. It's got a lot of guard hairs in it, which are, these are the waterproof uh, parts of the coat. You can see these little white bits. They never take up dye very well. So those are those little bits. And then Herdwick. And I know this, again, because you can see the guard hairs. Um, and it's really thick that the... the Herdwick is, can't read that, 40 microns. They also give fibre lengths, so the overall length of the fibre, um, but that doesn't really affect too much. I mean, fibre length is 75 to 80 mils, fibre length is 85 to 90. They're all around the 85, 90, so it doesn't really affect it too much. It's the micron that affects it. But um, even within a sheep, fleece there can be so many variants depending on the environment the weather whether the sheep was ill um, whether the sheep was brought in a couple of nights before um, being uh, shorn and also what they were fed so even within what you order sometimes it can change quite a bit and I'm going to go through some other fibers this book here is really good it's really helped me the field guide to fleece it's got all about wool and then it's got it's got over a hundred sheep breeds which is really good and it tells you all the fibre lengths so if you're interested in stuff like that um, that will be in the description below but um, we'll move on and have a look at the other bits of wool that I've ordered to look through the differences there. These are the other wools I wanted to show you and um, I've ordered them all from World of Wool I think you guys know that I use them a lot. Um, I use these they are their bats they are carded bats if you go to that section and I have ordered one of each type. They are all £5.25 each, apart from this one, which is a merino, which is £7. 
40 seven pounds 40 that one so they are um 200 grams in each now a bat is i've opened this one up this is the cheviot bat just to show you what a bat is there it goes it springs open so it's as it comes off the machine in one big flat piece and they will roll it up and then i'm gonna have to do this one handed and roll it up um, and put it in a bag there's normally a bit of paper in the middle you can see there's paper in there and that is what they call a bat whereas a slither get one here is like a rope and you can sort of pull off the length that you want if uh, or when we're finally able to go back into shops um, or you can order sort of smaller amounts and these this is a bit easier to work with especially as a beginner because trying to pull this off and but I you know the bats are fine it's not a problem really so these are slithers that's a bat um so i've ordered one of each type and just to go through i wanted to sort of see if there was a difference between the colors and the coarseness because i'm always after the whitest one because if i end up doing a, a, a it's a gray horse we call it but the horse would be white i'm always ringing and saying which is your whitest wool so this is um these are the slightly coarser ones at this end and if i looked them up the microns would be slightly higher so we've got the cheviot the Jacob, the Dorset Horn. This is not too, this is the finish. Yeah, it's a little bit coarser. And the Shetland. Um, and I used, used to use the Shetland a lot in the beginning. But I can see a definite uh, colour difference as well, which is what I wanted to go through. The finish is a bit creamer, whereas these ones are a bit whiter. This Shetland looks quite white in this light. And then starting to get a bit softer, the Norwegian Bat. This is still a bit coarser, I'd say, the Perindale, um, the Corridale. So these are definitely softer, the Corridale and the Norwegian. And then obviously the Merino would be a lot softer. Um, and the Merino, I can definitely see that that is a little bit creamer. So pretty much the whiteness, that seems to be the whitest out of all of them, the Perindale. But it might differ between each uh, sheep each time of the year that they were shorn and all those other factors I talked about earlier and the other thing I just wanted to mention is the organic matter within a piece so if I open up this bat oh sorry it's going mad organic matter is all these little bits that you have to pull out and it's going to be different so you could order a bat one month and then order it the next month and it could be full of organic matter and it could be did the farmer bring the sheep in uh, the night before shearing and they got full of uh, hay and straw because it's a lot easier if the coat is dry when they shear so there could be all sorts of things that could affect it that the mills and the wool companies I suppose can't really they can't get it out completely so there's always going to be a degree of you having to pull stuff out but hopefully you know the organic matter is not going to be too bad a lot of these are really really quite clean there's not i mean god there's nothing in that one the corridale but again you could order that two months later and it might have organic matter in so i don't think it's the company's fault necessarily um but yeah that they'll all sort of felt down pretty well the merino might take you a little bit longer because it's finer but they're all fantastic for bases and i use them for definitely my sheep for the legs i use them for the core just because it's handy uh, but uh world of all do do core wool and I've got a whole video on core wool so sorry to interrupt felters this is just future me just to let you know I've been working with these bats and I do think it's really important um, how they are when you actually felt with them and if there's any differences but my favorites especially for the color as well has ended up being the carded Corridale the carded Perrin Perrindale and the carded Dorset Horn um, the Perrindale is the one that I've actually written reorder because I, I found it really really good I've been making this a little bit of a preview this is some new pdfs coming out um, but it's just yeah a beautiful color really smooth really easy to felt so there you go um, these are my favorites the Corridale Perindale Dorset Horn I hope this has been interesting I'm not an expert on this at all if anyone um, has more information stick it in the comments because we need to share everything uh, like I said, I don't know everything. I'm just trying to learn stuff as I go. And because, you know, I've got my YouTube channel there, I'm getting um, money so I can order things like these and order all the multi-tools and compare stuff. So I really enjoy doing that for everybody. So I hope you've enjoyed this and we'll see you again soon.